Welcome to episode 127 of Nobody Special. In this episode, we talk about inappropriate dolls and trust. The Gospel Outpost presents Nobody Special. Hey everyone, welcome to Nobody Special to Nobody's Talking About the Somebody Who Matters. I'm Danny, the host and toy specialist of Nobody Special. And I'm Caleb, the other host of Nobody Special. This is the podcast where two generations of people talk about God, pop culture, politics, and everything in between, all while not taking any of it too seriously. Hey buddy. Hello. Welcome back. I'm back. We've had a few weeks apart. Yes. And at least one of us had a relaxing week. And another one of us <laughs> had a meltdown. Yeah. Partially due which, to me. <laughs> which one were you? <laughs> so, uh, uh, Caleb was back. All right. All right. So, here's how was Texas? Well, Texas wait, was good. Where were you? Because uh, two episodes ago, or an episode and a half, Evan and I straight up forgot to say where you were. Yeah. And. I actually got a couple of texts. Did Caleb quit the podcast? <laughs> <laughs> and yes. being, yeah, being the person I am, I answered, yep, sure did. Um, but then on top of that, we I was going to tape another episode that had Andrew on. I talked about this in the previous. Uh, and I screwed up the audio multiple times. Yeah. So where were you and how was it? Uh, I was in Texas for work, mm-hmm. um, and then I, my parents live in Texas as well, um, so I stayed an extra week mm-hmm. to stay with them. Yeah. But it was good. It was great right. and much needed. I had been sick a lot beforehand, right? and I had just moved, and you know, it was nice to just... Like, have a break. And even working when you're out of town, it's definitely right. a lot more relaxed. I mean, right. it's it's weird. It's, it's more hectic. Work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's way more hectic yeah. and, like, taxing, but it's a lot more fun than just going in the sure. office or even just sure, shooting in Jacksonville. Yeah. But, um, yeah, it was good. Nice. Nice. That's that's good. <laughs> so, <laughs> so the, the, um, the, the accidental episode also, we're just going to just air out the closet a little bit. I started off thinking it'd be funny to have this kind of a comical but still kind of a sad uh, tone to me having screwed up the technology multiple times. Yeah. By the time I actually got to taping, the comical part had completely gone away and I played it back and I was like, this is not even funny. It's just like... I was expecting emails to come in to ask, like, are you okay? Yeah. Is Caleb alive? Is that what happened? Did he die? And me being me, I would have said yes. But, um, yeah. Yeah. No, no. So, uh, we're in our new set. Um, yep. It's more of a permanent kind of a set than our previous. Mm hmm. I do think the, um, Ikea furniture behind us, I am contemplating getting the longer ones because it's only like half in and I'm staring at it now. I'm yeah. not sure I super <laughs> like it. Or maybe like more. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Yes, definitely. I yeah. don't want to get two more. Yeah. That'd be a oh, lot of Calaxes. That's, that's a lot. Of, yeah. That's a lot of Calax or uh, a lot of K packs there. That Did you tell super... them why this is more permanent? Did we bring that up in a podcast? That I've moved. I yes. think I brought it up. I'm speaking very slow today. I don't know what's going on. Um, I Yeah, <laughs> both of us have moved into new places. I now own 18% yes. of a condo. Yes. Uh, the bank owns the other 82%. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'm slowly paying them off a little bit at a time. So uh, I've moved. Caleb's moved. July and August have been crazy <laughs> to both of us. Um, both, oh, yeah. <laughs> both of us having gotten coronavirus and then moved everybody i know a moved all a good amount of people are going back to college there's a lot of stuff going on there it's just been, it's just been like it's been a crazy season yeah even this episode it's a day late yep and and neither of us care and i'm normally the guy who cares see i was trying to get back on yeah. thursday and you didn't and then they raised the plane tickets up another hundred dollars and i was like well 
get some flying back Friday. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so that's why. Yeah, that text, by the way, that that, that was a heart attack. <laughs> I'll be home Friday. I'm like, all right. Well, I guess we'll just have Andrew back on again. I don't know. We'll actually tape that episode this time. Uh, um, but yeah, we'll see what goes on there. So no, it's been a, a crazy few weeks personally, but also the uh, news has has gotten it's twenty twenty going to twenty twenty. Man, do you know what I mean? It's like twenty twenty. Oh, is I just know what you mean. In full twenty twenty. So yeah. Um, we we have a. This isn't the show I wanted you to come back to. I was thinking we could have kind of a... I'm scared what you're... Yeah. A no-stress kind of a show. But instead, everyone decided to go crazy this past few weeks. And uh, we're going to talk about it. So there's been a couple controversies... Contra Say the word for me. Controversies. Contra Whoa, I don't yeah, know. <laughs> I, it's contagious, whatever it is. And now you have a speech impediment. There have <laughs> been a couple things that were controversial. <laughs> yes, in uh, Children's Toys and in uh, Netflix and a few of those. and um, They're worth talking about at this point. I think if it was just w one of those things, it'd be like, okay, it stinks, but all right. Right. But um, yeah, so this is going to... <laughs> this is gonna be maybe the least fun episode we have where Man. where we talk about please stop sexualizing children and that's like I don't feel like that should be a um particularly controversial stance oh it is <laughs> right though I mean like r why anyway all right so there's been a few children's toys that have come out that people have found um may not be as good for children as they think. So all all of this is coming about because kids have been at home for six uh, months and parents are actually, they're just there w watching their children because they've gotten to the end of all things to watch on the internet and now they're playing dolls together. Mm -hmm. And and the first are these LOL dolls. Um, they are... First off, oh. let's just talk about the name. It's already weird enough. Dumb enough, I should say. <laughs> Clearly money grabbing. It's yeah. Like, this is a trend. What is an LOL doll? Explain. An LOL doll is a... I don't remember what it stands for. Hmm. Uh, it's, it's, it's a doll that's intended to change colors after it's put in water that's kind of the big kick of it is it's a it's it's a doll all the kids they asked to have them during christmas i know because of certain characters i played for certain preschools during a certain uh, we'll say december period right if you don't believe if if you still believe in santa and pay attention to this uh podcast then we're just gonna pull he's this not off. real he's not real uh and get mad at your mom for lying to you no uh so yeah no, but I also was, uh, yes <laughs> i <laughs> i played um uh a part of being good old chris kringle and every girl like i want an lol doll and i was just like what are these things and they're kind of close to like brat dolls you know about brat dolls the uh discount barbie the edgy Barbie. The edgy Barbie. It's yeah. if Barbie chain smoked. Yeah. And was fatter. Went to the tattoo parlor. Yes. No. Actually, do you? Uh, I mean, do you know about yeah, Brats? Yeah, I, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah no. That it's a hundred percent. It's it's a chain. Brats with a Z. Yeah, because it's edgy. Ah. <laughs> um, don't, so, so don't these, do that. Again. <laughs> these, yeah, I was cut that. Uh, these are are kind of kind of the same thing essentially, but their thing is they change color in. Oh, water. Mm -hmm. Well, it turns out that on a few of these, and it's not all of them, they're trying to figure out why these and are not others. Now, these have been out uh, dating back to 2019, and they've been there a good amount of time, but parents are just now starting to notice them. Um, there are dolls that, after put in water, they um, essentially change the clothing to a whole bunch of words I don't enjoy saying as in crotchless panties <laughs> all of those words are bummers real big bummers um, and and they if we were monetized we're just not going to be monetized this episode they also call attention to the nipples of the dolls yes mm -hmm. so in doing 
research uh, to this episode to be able to talk about it, I now think I have to register on a list. Like, I don't know. Because uh, I saw a couple of, of, of the things. Because, I mean, this kind of stuff tends to come out a... a a mom doesn't understand a thing and goes, oh, this is terrible. But I saw it. It's, it's, it's pretty bad. Like, yeah. it's, it's, it's pretty bad to a a, a a toy that's geared towards children. Right. Um, you know, this goes beyond the, the stance of it's a uh, – it's just a misunderstanding. Like, no, this is – this is pretty bad, and even a uh, Snopes kind of uh, gave gave this story a true, but needs a little bit more context. And right. um, is that fair? I don't know, but it is the thing they said. But the 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 type of clothing it changes them into is is pretty scandalous, to be honest. Right. Um, and I I don't feel as if it is that conducive to um something i'd give to a five or six well no these kids they were like three or four asking to have these lol dolls oh wow yeah so caleb and i are currently looking (laughs) at a picture that will not be on the video did not want to see that no no one did no one wanted to see it but they're all tatted up they have very sexualized clothing, I'd say. And now I... So what do they look like before you put them in the water? They're just like skin colored, basically? No, I mean... But you say you put them in the water to yeah, reveal... Yeah, their hair changes color. Um, some of their features change, but oh, okay. uh, the uh, the clothing kind of pops off. It, but yeah, it, it, it's, it's too accurate to biology that i would expect out of a kid's thing do you know what i mean it's it's yeah it it's not they're, necessary yeah it's not geared towards children these are children that are buying this toy that right. are are now going this kind of clothing is the dirty the naughty like ooh, it's it's a secret between me and my lol doll and and to me it felt as if it was over sexualizing children at an early age but i'm like okay and i i tried to give them the benefit of 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 the doubt i caught a couple things on it i was trying to say it's like well, well maybe it's just that they were trying to do a thing and it didn't get cold um, to be able to change the entire thing and it just came off in these areas but then uh-huh. the other pictures are pretty clear it's like what is it you were intending to put on this child do you know what I mean right. it's like, what were you trying to do because at this point it's pretty um, it, <laughs> clear right yeah you know the intention behind it is 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 pretty clear yeah I mean it's pretty that's pretty scary mm-hmm. and I mean, I definitely agree. Like, mm-hmm. I I know that obviously Christian beliefs and the secular beliefs are going to be completely different, right? And but I feel like this is one that most people can kind of can kind of agree on. Uh, maybe well, a three you... or four year old shouldn't. But I mean, this isn't even the only case. No, um, no, no. Yeah, no. Um, so what's the other one? <laughs> troll dolls. Now the trolls movie is dumb. Garbage. What? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> is bad. Now uh, they had these dolls of the main character who, who, who I think her name is Poppy. I don't know, and I'm not going to bother googling it, despite the fact that I can actually do it right now. I'm just not going to. Um, I don't think your internet would be fast. Enough. Oof. Okay. Is gonna out me like that? That's fine. Uh, so, so, so the the doll. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's a kind of a button on on the arm or hand that they can press, and it talks back. Okay, and that's um, encouraging others to to try it in in the store. There's a thing they can press to give it specific kind of noises to make. All right, and that's fine. That's a pretty common thing in dolls. What isn't common is that there is a secret button under Poppy's dress in the crotchal area that mm-hmm. you press to then it makes a noise is closer to like ooh, ooh we you know and it's just like <laughs> this needed to have been a 
a, 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 a QA meeting. I shouldn't be laughing, but it's just, it's so bizarre Uh huh. that it's almost unbelievable. Almost. It's like, well, <laughs> see this one, I, I get the, I get the thing they're going towards. They were trying to create this kind of a joke that as the character is able to sit down, it presses a special button and goes, ooh, because it sat down on her butt. Oh. What it actually is, though, and I feel as if someone, someone should have pointed this out at some point, go like, you're sticking a finger up her dress. Like, that to me, that that's fairly obvious. It's And it's a Wait, hidden so button. Wait, so when you sit it down, it makes, that's the intended purpose. Uh... I feel that it was probably the intended purpose, but still, I don't think there needs to be secret buttons in the crotch area that I press, or that anyone presses. Yeah. <laughs> Where was the QA meeting on that one? It's like... Yeah, it almost seems like these people like don't... Hey, Jim? Uh, the button's in her hoo-ha. Uh... Do we want to move that or just not do this entirely? Right. And it's it's a a different because the the parents had to discover this button. They weren't told about it. It's not on the box. It's a secret, and it's it's a thing just the kids are going to find because how many parents are gonna pick up the troll doll and then try and play with it and smash it down to sit down or be pressing buttons underneath Poppy's dress. Yeah. Poppy? Wait, who's Poppy? I miss that. I that's, think the that's the main character? I think. Yeah. I'm not Googling it, so you can't make me... No, I just... I, this is... um. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely... Parents are very angry about both of these things, and I gotta tell you, in a fair amount of those cases, I tend to go like, alright, that... that that might be making too much of it. Not in these, though. I'm just like, no, these are these are problems. I mean, these are real problems that need to be addressed. Right. And should have been addressed long before they got to the shelf. Mm-hmm. So, because uh, now the company's like, hey, we're sorry, we didn't intend it. Because what are you going to say? Like, no, that's what all of us uh, meant. I'm sorry that you're offended. It's like, it's not, no one's going to do that, but. Yeah, I think... The troll doll makes more sense if it's intended to be sat down. Because I had a lot of toys like that mm-hmm. growing up where it was like certain actions obviously like had to be pressed by something. Right. So like there's buttons in weird places. Um, That one definitely, I mean, should have had like put it at least on the butt, you know? Well, I mean, there's only so much space for a button down there. Mm-hmm. That's a weird sentence. Um, yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, it, it's definitely something that is concerning. The troll doll, I'll be honest, the troll doll isn't as bad as the uh, LOL dolls. Because the LOL dolls are just blatant. You know, it's right. like, the, yeah. this is Yeah, there's not a hint of doubt something. in that one. Yeah, yeah. Right. And yeah. the... Troll Dolls is just more or less a design Mm -hmm. uh, failure to, uh, you know, kind of look at (laughs) the broad sense. I want to agree with you. I really do. Um, Are you watching this video? Yeah. Again, this won't be on our video. Uh, I do. I I do got to say, I do enjoy the parent kind of discovery of they're trying to explain it and all that. But um the placement of the button is just it's it's a it's a bit much. Gosh, I I've, I've seen way too much today. Yeah, yeah, man. Can someone burn my eyeballs? Yeah, no, I'm on a registry, I'm almost sure. Like this yeah. is a <laughs> Why are you looking up the control sure. dolls? You know. <laughs> yeah, so it's there. Yeah. Yeah, that one's troll dolls. That's definitely a, just a design failure, in my opinion. Right. Well, okay. the I, the LOL dolls. I don't have sympathy for them at all. No, that's, no, no, no. Absolutely that's not. That's terrible. But but I mean, 
these are things that to me are 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 pretty obvious things of like hey don't put a button there hey don't put kids toys in stripper outfits hey don't do these things these these are in incredibly obvious things that that um would not have been spotted if parents didn't have the ability to be by their child for six months straight. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I mean, the, uh, these toys have been out f for a fair amount of time, and still, it it still took parents about a year and a half to find it. Um, right. And and the troll dolls. I don't even think that that's the pr the 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 bad part of that. It's that no one is stopping to ask these questions and and that to me is kind of the bigger cultural problem that i'm 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 yeah i'm trying to get into that this the the uh, the problem isn't that the toy is there the problem is that nobody stopped to question this toy or go hey uh is this actually a good idea to to communicate to kids that when that area is touched that this is a it is a fun thing because people are starting to claim are they trying to uh desensitize kids to the idea of s sexual behavior starting at five and six yeah i think i think for sure i i, I don't think that it's definitely i mean that it's um mm -hmm. not going on i mean i think that's something that is becoming more and more common mm -hmm. nowadays and especially you look at i mean i you know i'm gonna get criticized for connecting the two but who cares um you know the people who want to let their child have whatever sexuality or get a sex mm -hmm. change from an early early age right before their brain is even truly developed mm -hmm. um and this is obviously kind of pretty it's not very similar, but it's kind of in the same range of things than the fact that it's it's something that can be dangerous. Right. And destroying a child's innocence um, at a young age is not a good thing. No. Um, I or think at that any age. The destruction of innocence at any age is not a good thing. I think that is it, is it possible to still become a good person of society yes mm -hmm. i mean but there's things that you want to let a child live their childhood and i know tons of people you know who didn't get to do that and it's and it's hard yeah you know? and yeah, i absolutely. don't and i don't by any means think that a child is going to look at that ll doll and immediately think right but right. it is it is a subtle thing right that i think is for sure happening the troll doll i honestly i think it's just a design flaw obviously looked over sure. and should have been thought about more, but I think it's a flaw that's indicative of a bigger cultural problem uh, that's going on. That this idea of pr uh, 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 promoting any gender or sexuality in children. I mean, it's starting at an early and earlier age um, to to promote that at the age of five they can can decide their gender and that type of thing and and to be honest i don't think that connection is that f far stretch of a connection i think that's a fine connection to make because they're tied together now the, the question of of it of is it intentional i think is the important question the the um the lol doll yeah that's intentional and that's horrifying immediate and if people have lol dolls i i i'd throw mine out if i had them uh that's just a, my two cents on that i i would throw them out because as as a company they can't be trusted um in order to do this and now the trolls thing i do think it is a design flaw but it's also kind of indicative of people think that's okay and and i think that's the the bigger problem of i mean this isn't just a small toy company doing this it's hasbro there's teams of people there's q a there's all these things there's um 12 different uh, managers there's the pe the people creating it producing it engineering it taping all all of the things i mean there's probably about 100 people that saw this thing before they had uh, I started publishing this and nobody spoke up because everybody thought like, no, this is fine. 
Um, and I think that's the problematic part of it is that our culture to uh, to these kind of sexual things is becoming more and more desensitized. Um, yeah, I think. I don't know. The problem, the thing with the troll doll lies, for me at least, from my personal opinion, and the fact on what was the original design intention, mm-hmm. if it was to sit down mm-hmm. and make a noise, which, like you said, it was. Right. Probably. I'm guessing. That's the only thing I can think to defend it. Um, Like, if that's what it was, then, you know, sure. But, yeah, if it's if it's something that was intentionally designed to be pressed... Then um you know there's it problems. Is. It it's 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 a physical button right. that is intended to be pressed in this area. And now, granted, I still think there's some plausible deniability of they were intending it to be pressed as as I took the doll and I tried to sit them down. But even that is is still pretty. It's still pretty indefensible in my opinion. Yeah, I mean, I I think that it can happen in many ways. Like the real. I mean, maybe I shouldn't bring this up, but there's a Spider-Man toy as a, mm-hmm. as, a, as a kid that, you know, it was yeah. a button on, like, his lower back right. that would do, like, the web shooting noises. Right. right. Could that be tied to certain things? Sure. Where did said web shooting <laughs> emanate from? <laughs> yes. Uh, but, like... But that's, and, the, that's and, not exactly. even canonically w- right, where exactly. Peter Parker... <laughs> Um, you know, whatever, Mm -hmm. but like there's, there's things like that where I can understand, but Mm -hmm. like I said, you know, troll law, if it was intentionally, if it was not a design feature by a certain action that you make of her sitting Mm -hmm. down, then I would, you know, get a bit more antsy. But yeah, I mean, for sure, the, the broad scope of, you know, sexualizing, and I don't, I don't think... To be honest, it's anyone's real goal to truly, like, sexualize someone of that age. I think that... I'll and, disagree, but okay. In the fact, in a, in a broad sense, that yep. I don't think anyone truly so, wants mm-hmm. to, um, you know, sexualize children and to take their innocence away of them knowing what sex is as a kid. You know, I don't think that that's something that anyone really wants. Um, I I'm, I might, like as I a, might disagree with you a little bit. Yeah, I mean, on, I think in a broad sense. Now I'm saying... No, I, I know. I'm still saying... Universally. And the reason I'm bringing that up is I think, of course, there are specific people who think that's a good idea. Um... But yeah, I, don't I think know. I don't think it's a hundred percent of the people, but I don't think it's a statistical anomaly anymore. Mm-hmm. I I don't think they're coming at it on the perspective of I'm trying to take their uh, their innocence or take any anything out of them. I do think there is a difference in. Uh, I was talking to a person about this. Um, uh, people have tried to say this is grooming children. Okay, that I disagree on, but. Um, and not because I think it's 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 good or okay or just a misunderstanding or any of that. I actually think it's horrifying that these things are out there. But I don't think it's grooming because mm-hmm. grooming is an intentional act that is done by a person to another person to achieve a specific goal. I don't think this is grooming. And I need that term to be protected in order that people that are grooming kids to engage in sexual behavior with them i need that to be clear in order to prosecute uh prosecute them clear um you know i'm not interested in grooming becoming kind of this catch-all term but i i i am okay going this is in uh well the lol dolls are an intentional desensitization to sexual themes by trying to push a cultural agenda or mm-hmm. um, that that it's it's about this this positive expression of s- sexuality at any age and i don't think they're trying to take their innocence but they are taking their innocence and um, i don't think that's their stated goal i think they kind of try and mask it as i'm trying to promote a a a 
a proper understanding of the people they are in their s- s- sexual development and i'm going to get them at an at, at a a young age in order to put that foundation down early so that it's easier to to give them that opportunity to grow up in that understanding instead of trying to do it as they're older mm-hmm. i mean the older people get they tend to stay pretty constant in their thoughts and and kids are are easy to mold um and if i can promote a specific understanding of well this is how things go uh-huh then it's easier to do that at a y- 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 younger age i mean i mean that that's been going on since the beginning of time is Try and indoctrinate kids in order to change the future. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I think that there are some real issues. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that a lot of parents. I mean, I, and this isn't even a political thing. I would say. I mean, some people will view it as that for sure. Mm-hmm. But I think most of us can agree that it is good to let a child live their childhood. Mm-hmm. Um. And, you know, I, I think that this is, especially the LOL dolls, that's wrong. Because it's just so blatant. Right. You know, a kid can, I mean, it sounds terrible. We know, it, like, right. if you press a button in a crotch area and they right. giggle. Right. We know what that is. A child might not really put that together right. on their own, which is, right. it's still scary. but But it does connect positive thoughts together. And, and, yes. and, and the problem with kids is that it does it very is that they're bad at understanding it they connect two thoughts because they're two connected thoughts mm-hmm. so yeah um, but yeah I think it's it's not good and I think mm-hmm. any any Christian would agree with that mm-hmm. uh, I don't think that's what we're trying to no 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 like no. prove anything here it's no it's more just and uh, to be honest, like, I don't think that it's going to get any better. Um, I hope it does. Like, that's why, like, I want to claim that there are people who aren't Christians mm-hmm. that think this is bad as well. And I do think there are majority mm-hmm. of people who aren't Christians would, you know, kind of agree that maybe we shouldn't show, you know, this child a doll with nipples and a crotchless underwear on, you know. I told you all those words are bummers. <laughs> yeah. Every last one of the things that you said in conjunction and in context is a bummer. But, um, yeah, and I, I think that it's becoming more of a movement to uh, let people live their sexual freedom. and See, but no, like no, one ac- no one actually believes that. That's the thing. Nobody actually puts... Because everybody mm-hmm. puts... A boundary on it at a place mm-hmm. because I know uh, there's an increase in the amount of people that are um, calling themselves a minor attracted persons that are trying to uh, bring that as a as an actual expression of a healthy sexuality that they are adults that are attracted to a minors and they're trying to change the wording in mm-hmm. order to bring that into the mainstream of I am a a minor attracted person and that and and they try this every few yep. a decades they they give it another go and try and include it but at a point it's going to get through because of the amount of desensitization to this type of content mm-hmm. that um at a point it's going to get through and this is the point of of uh, a faith that or challenge to to the Christian faith that's going to become very important, I think, to be able to stand tall in that. Right. Um, just kind of the third thing that came out, actually this came out a couple of days ago, there was a, uh, a Netflix a movie called uh, Cuties. It's actually kind of a French film. Um, so it has another n- name that I don't remember what it is, but it's, an about, it's about an 11-year-old girl that joins a twerking dance team in defiance of her... A mother as a means of understanding her budding 
sexuality, and that's their words, not mine. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm going to throw up now, and uh, this is... I'm not bringing this up to do the thing my Facebook is doing of going, hey, wow, everything's terrible and I'm angry as a Christian because I agree. I actually don't think that's that productive at all. Mm -hmm. But to pretend as if it isn't actually going on is also not productive. Right. Yeah, I think think that, you know, we need to try our best. For me personally, too, it's easy Mm -hmm. for me to think that, okay, I mean – the, it's obviously, you know, America is not going in any good place mm-hmm. um, as far as following the instruction of what God has given us, the Bible, mm-hmm. um, for what is truly good for our lives. Yeah. Um, and and it's easy to look at all these things that bring temporary pleasure, mm-hmm. um, not just sexually, but um, monetarily, mm-hmm. uh, you know. All sorts of things. Right. And and for me, it's easy to just kind of give up on society and be like, okay. Right. You know, and I think we've talked about this before. Right. It's just like, pray like, you know, God, bless help them us. in the face with a brick. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, I mean, yeah. not even that, but like, you know, understanding and praying that we are in a godless country. Right. And that it might not get any better. Right. That being said... I don't think it's easy for me to be like, okay, well, let's just give up on it. You mm-hmm. know, I'm going to preach the gospel. But other than that, you know, I'm good. You know, but I think that there are things that we can do speaking out against stuff like this. Mm-hmm. And and I think that's super important because that's it's not just that, you know, if we truly believe what the Bible believes, you know, it's it's good to fight for something absolutely yeah that yeah. even though you may the the probability of you actually succeeding may be super low you know it's good to fight for that because yeah. i think that's super important and god you know is definitely you know we, we are stewards of what he has given us yeah absolutely and and he has given us a government that we are able to speak out and mm-hmm you know, be a part of the changes going on right, right? legally. So, I mean, I think that it's definitely stuff like this, not even legally, but speaking out right, is good. Right. Um, and yeah, I, I have to remind I mean, myself this, of that. This, it, if you're going through these stories and get offended, good. You, you should 100% be offended this is an offensive story you should you you should be offensive um the, the offended because uh, this is horrifying to have a a movie produced and a defended about kids twerking um in in that type of thing it is offensive the question then becomes though as a christian what is the christian answer to this and that is to stand up against this and and promote those that can't speak on behalf of their own. I mean, especially uh-huh. children. Children are innocent. Uh, people tend to go through the story of, um, or they'll point to the issue of S- Sodom and Gomorrah and say, "Oh, it's because they were homosexuals." And I'm like, N- "No." And 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 to be honest, that that's that isn't the point of that story. The story is that that culture got to a place of the willful destruction of innocence Mm -hmm. that uh these two angels came and 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 the town came to essentially rape the angels and in order to protect them the guy offered up his um a daughter understanding that the angels are important and and the angels answer to me is one of the more baller things in scripture because uh, they said like no, that's not how this is going to go down. Yeah. I'll burn this place to the ground. Do you understand? I will. Yeah. This thing is gone by tomorrow. Um, and and because uh, cause the angels are okay going out there. I can't take on an angel and beat them. Uh, that's not how this goes. But, right. Um, but it was, it was a place of being willing to give up on the... the 
on the innocence of those that can't speak on behalf of themselves. Mm -hmm. Um, But I don't think the answer is to go on a Facebook or any of that and claim that all these people, oh, they need to be killed and all that. I mean, where where do you see that in Scripture? Please tell me. In fact, I think... I see way too much of that, and not even mm-hmm. not even that literal either. Mm-hmm. You know, but just oh, I see it the amount yeah. of you know, like just disgust, like talking mm-hmm. about other people. I hate that. You know, right. like I think I think the best thing we can do as Christians when speaking out against stuff like this mm-hmm. is don't quickly within two minutes after reading something, you know, write mm-hmm. a Facebook post. Right. I think we need to be more eloquent and think about what you're saying. Um, don't just quickly react. Like that's right. that's that's the difference. Is right. reacting between having a thoughtful um, argument against something. Yeah. And I think that that is super important nowadays. And I think Christians just look dumb most of the time. Probably ninety percent of the stuff I see in the internet mm-hmm. that comes from Christians is just dumb. Right. It's not even the point that you're making. It's not what you believe that's dumb. It's it's the way that you say it right. and how you say it. And the way that we represent Christ is very important. Right. Um and I think that that is that's a big issue. You know, like mm-hmm. you're saying, don't don't quickly react and the Psalm of Gomorrah stuff is very different from what is going on. Right. I mean there are similarities of right. course, but it's you are not an angel that God has given authority to do things like that, especially circumstances as far as mm-hmm. a lot of other sure. stuff were different. Um, but, yeah. I, I mean, even getting into the finer points of angelology, and, the, and although in Christ we are above the angels, mm-hmm. still, though, our mission is that of Christ. Yeah. And, and, and that these people, if they're doing these things and if they are intentional and, and, and if they are trying to take the innocence of people at this point as New Covenant Christians, our task, it isn't to slaughter them, but to pray for them mm-hmm. and proclaim gospel to them. And granted, as people that take care of kids and I take care of kids and uh, you take care of kids, our tactics, they have to change at this point. Mm-hmm. The tactics I have at this point can't be the same tactics of the 1920s, the 19 19- tens uh the 1800s and all that i mean i was talking to a person and told them that at this point to teenage boys uh, the strategy it isn't to teach them the ways to never be exposed to pornography it's actually to teach them what they do when they are exposed to pornography yeah. and that is 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 just a and it, it's a terrible cultural place to be mm-hmm. the church uh, it needs to be at the at at the top of protesting pornography mm-hmm. and its ties to uh, trafficking and all those terrible things. Yep. The uh, the church has to be at the top of that, mm-hmm. but also prepare our kids to be in this a world, but not of it. Yeah. Um. In John, uh, chapter fifteen, eighteen through nineteen, and actually, um. This isn't the thing I was planning on uh, going to, but um, it it actually brings it up pretty well, our, our status in all of this, because by bringing it up, the world will hate us, and that needs to be okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, yep. um, uh, Caleb, do you... Yeah, John 15, 18 through 19? Yep. If the world hates you, know that it has hated me before it hated you. If you were of the world, the world would love you as its own. But because you are not of the world, but I chose you out of the world, therefore the world hates you. Yeah. I mean, that's... Yeah. We are in this, but not of this. Mm -hmm. And and our goal, or as as a Christian, our role is to be an ambassador of Christ, um while not giving up our our status as as Christians. And it's hard too because you know, you think about it, like we are supposed to love the world, mm-hmm. not in the sense of loving the world that we are a part of the world. The people of it. Yes. Yeah. 
loving the people of the world and not getting love back is hard. Right. I mean, it is. And I think right. that a lot of us um, haven't fully made that transition yeah. um, to fully, you know, being right. outside of the world, right. if that makes sense. Right. Because it's hard. I mean, it, it yeah. just is. And I think that um, that's it's super important. And I think that that's something I've been thinking about a lot lately mm-hmm. is how far is too far as far as loving someone. Like you don't want to love them so much that it seems like you're condoning. Um, mm-hmm. You know, it's complicated. Right, right. It's tricky. <laughs> but I, I mean, to be, uh, to be fair, I think that's kind of the struggle between uh, conservative and l- liberal Christianity is mm-hmm. – there's an end that's gone so far deep into I care about this person that I'm going to condone everything they do. And that's dangerous because it just opens the, the door to hell. Mm-hmm. Uh, but on the other end, in conservative Christianity, they've put in so uh, many barriers to entry that it just closes the door to heaven. Mm-hmm. And in actuality, it's it's I need to care about the person while also condemning every. All, all the things they do right. because if I can't split a person in their actions, then I do not understand what cro- uh, Christ did on the cross right? Of, of going, I care about this person that I'm going to bear the punishment of their action in order that they could be with me forever. Mm-hmm. Um, I care about them and their actions are deplorable. Yeah. And and I think that's kind of the struggle that is is a uh, a balance. I don't think um, proclaiming in a public kind of a manner as a Christian that uh, pedophiles they need to be uh, uh, castrated and killed is um, gospel centric. And I'm not trying to promote pedophilia or any of that or condone it. I'm not condoning yeah, it no. at all. It is evil. Mm-hmm. Um, and these are people that they need the gospel. Yeah. Because it is the gospel that brings a person back to being whole and saves. Only Jesus Christ can help that person at this point. Yeah, I think that's that's so good. And, and it's easy to look at someone like that. Mm-hmm. And there are people, mm-hmm. all sorts of, struggling with all sorts of different things. Right. Um, besides pedophilia. Right. Um, and just like be like, look at them and feel like there's nothing you can do. Right. And, and it's hard, but Mm -hmm. yeah, it's knowing that they need, they need love. Right. Um, and the only love that they need is Jesus. Right. And I think that's super important. Right. Because it's easy to rule people like that out. Yeah. Um, even. You know, you look at terrorists or all mm-hmm. these people, um, but praying for them, um, and obviously, I think it goes along with any other thing. Right. If you struggle with alcohol, right? You know, don't hang out with your alcoholic right. friend in a bar if right. they are struggling with pedophilia. Maybe they shouldn't serve in mm-hmm. children's ministry at right. church. Absolutely, <laughs> and and I'm not trying to claim they need to be included to the point of. Well, no, I'll just hand my, my children to them in order that they, that everybody understands just how progressive I am and trusting and better than everybody else I am. Mm-hmm. I, I don't think that's that's wise, to be honest. That is just giving a child over. It's If I know that um, Caleb struggles with drug addiction and I give him all Don't of, say that on yeah. the punch. <laughs> I mean he doesn't. If I if I th- th- think that Caleb does that and I give Caleb a bottle of Percocet mm-hmm. um I mean just to say how much I trust him. Well f- frankly then that's <laughs> it's like the marshmallow enticing test. <laughs> him to sin. <laughs> yeah. Uh, do you know what I mean? It's 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 I'm not being kind. I'm kind of being a butthead. Yeah. It's like I know that you struggle through this, but I trust you with my drugs. <laughs> I mean, I really... Y'all gotta be out your dang mind, you know? I think that the marshmallow test is the best um, oh, the explanation test. for yeah. any of those things. Right. You know, it's it's the same... With any of the sins, it's the same thing, like you're saying. You right. know, don't leave someone who struggles with 
mm-hmm. sex alone in another room with a woman. Don't right. go to a bar with an alcoholic. Right. All those things, like you're saying. Right. Um, but you know, and this is know, this man. is kind of going yeah. off topic. Yeah, it is. And but oh, well, I'm going even further off. Topic, oh, that's what fine. I'm saying. We're already there. <laughs> We're too far. Out. It's what we do. It's our first but one back. Should we trust? Um, does the Bible say? Like, I genuinely am asking a question here. Does the Bible say to trust? You know, your brothers and sisters. You know, I know that we should trust God, and not even like. I like. Is there a point where it is too much trust in someone? You know. Uh, I think it's just called idolatry at that point. Not even you know in that I mean? sense, like, but like. Like you're saying, with like handing someone a bottle of Percocet when they struggle with drugs, so and, and even in different things, because like, should we put our trust in another human, even though they are Christian, mm-hmm. um, but they are still human and being sanctified, right. that they will let guess, you down. I guess the the. I guess the terms aren't great because I'm I'm understanding trust in kind of the same context of greek of pistis and and faith mm-hmm. um but but trust is in, in english closer to a statistical truth um if i was i know caleb doesn't str- a struggle through drug addiction and if mm-hmm. i put down a bottle of percocet not that i have one i don't know why i'm going there um i trust caleb isn't gonna touch it uh, do you know what I mean? Right. I mean, because there's a statistical truth there. The The problem I tend to have in these kinds of things that um, I want to be very careful how I put this is that there are a few things we have done in the name of n- not trusting a person that don't pave a path of grace back. That it's right. if, if they are this, they are this until they die. And, and, in that, in it I kind of diminishes even... the work of Christ because there needs to be a point that I can trust that Christ has done a work in them. Right, but I wouldn't with even that said, say I'm not, sure not even, even struggling with that, sin. You know I mean? But I'm thinking about like being taught at camp, mm-hmm. you know, a Christian camp, where we we went up and you stand on the platform and you have to mm-hmm. trust. It's an exercise of trust mm-hmm. for you and your brothers and sisters for them to catch you. Um, and like that, you know, being taught that, that's what I I've never really thought about. hated that. And right? not just because yeah. I'm a bigger guy and it's like, <laughs> I trust. It's terrifying. I trust they will try and catch me. I mean. Yeah, right. Yeah. Um, no, to me, that's a, I, I'm a cold hearted strategist on that. If I go up there, I'm a children's minister. If I go up there, I don't care how, if if all all the kids at church are doing trust falls and they're like, Danny, get on up there. I ain't doing it. Cause, right. Because although I trust them to try, I doubt their ability to do so. I mean, that's kind of, and, and that thing, just because I fell back doesn't mean I trust them, to be honest. Most of the time, it, it meant I got peer pressured going up there. Right. Um, it's a stupid thing. Trust falls are stupid. The, but yeah, that's like the question I'm asking is, is it unbiblical for or unloving for me to not trust my brothers and sisters um, just having trust in them? You know, like that's... Because I feel the, like I've the, always thought that that was kind of the trust that's tied to faith and hope those go to god or Mm -hmm. those go to christ and christ alone period end of story yeah those are to christ if i put trust and hope in anybody else because faith and trust are actually very tied um in in concept um but there is it's not explicit, but the idea of being a part of the body of Christ, there is a certain amount of trust in the other person to do their job under the understanding that they are going to screw it up at a point and that that is okay. And, and that there's grace in that kind of a moment. I think mm-hmm. if I don't trust anybody, then I'm 
kind of going against the things brought up in Genesis of it is uh, not good that a man is all all alone. There is a proper expression of being in community that is trust. Right. And I, I need to be able to trust other Christians because if I don't, that is so problematic to other things that I it becomes unhealthy very quickly. And, I mean, would you even say that trust in a relationship that isn't between you and God is even trust? Because the way I kind of think about it, and the mm-hmm. more I realize it's going on and on in life is... I wouldn't even call it trust in someone I have a friend like you. Uh-huh. Like it's, I would say it's more. I know what you're gonna be able to come through on, and what you're not gonna be able to come through on. As I get, as I've spent more time with you, mm-hmm. um, I have more of a probability sense inside of me than. But yeah, that's trust. kind of the statistical thing I brought up. But right. But the other thing to be cautious of is that. People that claim they're they're cold-hearted statisticians, this guy, I know I just said it, so I know what I'm about to say, um, are often overcritical of other people and underestimate their ability. And I think Hmm. that there has to be a point that you're willing to give a person a chance because you trust them. Um, Is that biblical? That's what I'm curious about. Uh, to be a part of community, I'd say yeah. Not even no. Yeah. Well, that's different. Being a part of community and that. No, is to different. be a part of a faith community as the body of Christ. Yes. Yes, I I'd say, mm. kind of to an extent. It's interesting. I've never thought about this before. Yeah. Yeah, I mean. I mean, it's it's kind of the same thing as a part of the body telling the other part of the body, I don't. Need them, kind. I'm not kinda, even that. No, I wouldn't even well, say it's that. Well, kind of. I I'm, I'm making the comparison now that that it's kind of that. Like, should I put my trust in other people? I think that. Yeah, I don't know. It's interesting because I feel like putting trust in or trusting them, and I want to be careful about the thing that we're saying. That's the same thing. No. No, 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 no. What's no, the no. difference? Tell me the difference right here. Putting trust in is is kind of the same as the faith and hope aspect. I am putting everything I have into that. I am trusting a person is kind of the statistical, and, and part of this is the flaws of English, is that I am trusting their ability to do the thing, even if I don't carry the evidence that they can do it. Hmm. At a point, I think you have to be okay giving a person a chance because they are a part of the body of Christ, even if I don't know them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I, w- I would kind of agree with that. I'm kind of playing devil's advocate just because it's an interesting conversation. Yeah. But I think that, yeah, because I've never thought about, like, should we put our trust in anything other than God? Um, and that's kind of a tricky sense or uh, mm-hmm. wordplay there. But, yeah, like, I, is it is it different? Like, that's what I'm saying mm-hmm. is trust. Is it different relationship with God than it is with a human? And that's what I'm like. Yes. It, yes, it is different. Because trust and faith are almost interchangeable in the divine sense. Yeah. Um. So if I'm coming at it on the perspective of faith, then there is that kind of interchangeable nature to it and i think that's here's the difference in what i think it is i think that between like god Mm -hmm. i would say it's it's trust but there's micro and macro in the sense that Mm -hmm. when i trust in god it is everything Mm -hmm. it is my life right my soul right my mind it's it's faith you know but you look at you know, trust and faith, even in someone else, on a micro sense would look like, you know, completing a task. I'm thinking about like being a boss. Mm-hmm. You know, if my boss tells me to do this thing, mm-hmm. I'm going, you know, as a boss, I'm going to trust mm-hmm. and hope that they will do that. You know, that I think that they can do that. 
even maybe they have stuff in their hope, past yeah. that you yeah. know they haven't completed tasks. Sure. But you put your hope in that in the micro sense mm -hmm. that you're not betting. You know, this isn't your life. You know, it's not. You know, your worship to. You know, God. It's mm -hmm. it's a smaller thing, and that's where I think the difference lies. Is a micro but and macro people that sense. tend to distrust other people by default tend to not be functional people in the body of Christ. Right. And because that's what of, I, I mean, the v v very beginning, Genesis 1, pre-fall, the person that is on their own is not good. Yeah. And, and, and there needs to be able to be this type of trust that occurs between people that is, is kind of a... And again, I just think part of it is English sucks. Um, I mean, even accountability, and I think that accountability is different. But yeah, that's why tied. I feel like there should be a different word almost because right, you know, accountability like that verse where it's mm -hmm. like, man should not be alone. Right, um, there's a sense of trust and yeah. accountability, yeah. but it's kind of the same thing, you know, like it's something that. I lost my train of thought, but it's like, it's more a sense of, um, I wouldn't even call it trust. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying is like, it's, it's different. I want to create a new word now. We're, we're way off topic here. We're but, very off topic. But are you tracking? <laughs> like, <laughs> does this make sense? Very... It makes so much sense in my head, but. I don't know, because I think about like take with the, three weeks off and just kind of. <laughs> <laughs> I think about in the sense of like things right now yeah. with with your wife, um, you know. It, she here? <laughs> <laughs> you know, there you have to have a sense of accountability and um, trust. See, see, oh that yeah, one, here, here's, that here's what I was that going. That one's different. Yeah, the, okay. Like, let's forget what I just said because yes, I just remembered what I was going to say before. The, with accountability. Mm -hmm. The reason, going back to the boss employee yeah. aspect, mm -hmm. the reason me as an employee, I am held accountable mm -hmm. and trusted in to do that thing is because there are consequences on the other end. Right. And this can be however small or big in life right. as you want it to be. Right. There's consequences that if I do not do this task, then maybe you will lose your job. Mm-hmm. Um, and or maybe with a friend, if they ask you to do something, you're mm -hmm. going to lose some of that re relational bank, um, and causing them to, you know, distrust you. I guess mm -hmm. it's, you right. could call it. Um, but is there, you know, is that is accountability and trust and consequences? Is it driven by consequences, or is it driven by, um, you know? true trust like hope in that they'll do it and that's the, why i bring that up is like i feel like the relationship between me and the father is different because i know that there is when i trust in him <clears throat> there is no right. consequences back when i fall short um because i believe if you are a believer right um you know, no, no. Trust in that context is is tied to the promise of, of eternity without understanding. I mean, this goes back to um, everything I'm doing in 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 the Hall of Faith in the blog mm -hmm. series subtle plug. Uh, a faith is the assurance of things hoped f f for. Um, that it's 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 tied to. I don't carry the evidence that this is there. I can't, in a conclusive context, understand that this is 100% going to happen, but I trust because I know God. And right. I, I, because I, I know God, I can trust and have hope and we know in a future. That he wants what is good for us, even mm -hmm. if what we think falls short. Right. We can understand that. Right. But it's 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 a different tie. I mean, because to God that's an up, but to us it's an over. Right. Even exactly. if I take this thing, start a company, and I pay you to do this, which sorry, I'm not gonna do that for a while <laughs> or ever. Um, <laughs> even if I I do create that as kind of a tiered context, a big picture, it's still it, it's 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 a side to side. It isn't an up. 
I could be a bit up in that I've created a dynamic that there are other consequences, but still, as it comes down to it, I trust you as my brother in Christ. What do you trust in, hmm? in me to do? Ooh. It's more a task thing, right? Isn't that... No, not necessarily. Like, that's what I'm there, saying is there different. There have been plenty of times that I've trusted your uh, character, uh, to be honest, that I've trusted the character, the things I understand about you to, hmm, how do I say this not meanly, um, to counteract what it is that you actually said to me. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I know what like, you mean, yes. It's like, no, what he said should get me swinging. What I know of him is that he meant this. Anybody who knows me knows that I kind of talk in like a text message type Out of, of thing. his... <laughs> Or what I say does not always, button. Yeah. you know, <laughs> I mean, but I mean, even, even that, I guess it's not even a trust, but that's what I'm saying. It's a no, statistic, that's... you know, from knowing me for many years that that's not what I actually mean. But that's I don't have saying. evidence of that. And I've been wrong before too. <laughs> wow. We're really just dumping on me. To... But do you agree with me? Do you think that, because I kind of, after thinking about this even for the short amount of time, there should be a kind of a different term. I think trust is something that yeah, no, we can I've, only I've really have. Yeah, no, I've been saying have... it the whole time. The English yeah. sucks. Yeah. Yeah, the English of this is bad because it pairs a thing that that I do to God and to you as the same term, and they're not the same term. They're, they are different. But so I... what are we going to do to distinguish? I guess we could say divine trust and... Which some would just call faith. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, but I, I can, even then. I can play it back. I said it. Yeah, yeah, you did. <laughs> yeah. But even <laughs> then, like, there's still confusion because people are still, I don't know, I feel like we should create a new word. Let's create a new word right here. What should, what should the, I mean, we, you know, let's end it here. We're, we're a little over. create a new word. What do you guys think the new word for a human level of trust should be? I want to tell people to stop touching dolls. That's true. That's what I was. <laughs> that was what we were talking about, wasn't it? No, 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 no. That's a good topic, though. I mean, what should the new word be? Gosh, I don't, I don't. Uh... Email us. You know, comment on the YouTube. I was like, wait, what do they comment? Ooh, on? Comment on the YouTube. How am I the old one on the show? <laughs> the YouTube. Comment. No, all right, all right. That is a a good a good thing to talk about, though. And if we hadn't spent 20 minutes on it, I'd say, like, let's give it its own show. <laughs> no, but I think it's important that I, I, you know, although there are the trust falls and all that, I need to trust in Jesus and Jesus Christ alone as as the the procurer and as, as, as a person who brings my eternal salvation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a different level. Y yes, absolutely. Very different, yeah. So, yeah, what do you think, guys? Tell us what you think about not only just the trust thing, but, um, you know, what what are your thoughts on the sexual appropriation? Is that the right term? Sexual appropriation is a bummer of a phrase. I um, don't know what I just said. No, I know people say that, I but don't I don't know what it means. Wrong. I just think it's a bummer. On yeah. the current sexual climate, gosh, I don't want those emails. Email Caleb at the following email. <laughs> Quick, uh, rise it up from the bottom. <laughs> no, comment. Um, so Danny has to see it. So I have to read it, yeah. I'm going to disable that form on the website, which is thegospeloutpost.com slash nobody special, and there's a form at the bottom of the page to tell us your thoughts. Uh, mm -hmm. do, you, do you think that this is a, a uh, kind of a slip-up by corporations, or is it a pure... Trying to desensitize children to a sexual content at an at, at an early age. So, yeah. or if there are other biblical questions, go ahead and and ask us those. If it's questions about trust, hey, 
we want those questions to be able to talk about them more. So. Yeah. And if you want to just say hello, we always love that. You can say hello at that form. Hello. Or you can just comment on Instagram, Facebook, or YouTube. Where can they go on Instagram and Facebook? I don't think we actually Nobody's said special podcast right there if you're on YouTube. And um, yeah, you can go follow us there or just you know check in and mm-hmm. decide that you don't want to follow us. I don't care. No, um, we do. We care. Stay and follow Danny, us. Danny what cares. Doing? Danny what cares. You, what are you doing? <laughs> you take two weeks off on your Parisian vacation. Parisian? What does that mean? Uh, Paris-based, but fancy. Peruvian? No. Perugian? Peru- no, I said the word correctly. What did you say? I don't know why you don't trust me. I'm way more pedantic than you. <laughs> I thought it was Peruvian. That's also a word. That is not the word I was saying. Perugian. What did you say? Now I'm... A Parisian. See, now you've got me all messed up. <laughs> as in Paris, as in bougie, essentially. is Yeah, is the there was a Lego set that I wanted as a kid that was this building. That I thought it was a Peruvian, and it was like a little Paris place with like a restaurant. Peru- Peruvian would Peru, be... Peru, right? Yeah. So, Perugian. Paris. I don't know what's going on. No, no, no. I've had too much coffee. We just... need to work this out tonight. <laughs> Peru- Perugian. I think that is how you say it. Perugian. I don't know how to say it anymore, <laughs> because this is your fault. All right, that's going to be it for us today. I'm Caleb. And I'm Danny. And we are Nobody Nobody Special. Special.